Hey y'all, Grand Rising. So we're gonna tap in with Spirit to see what the collective needs to receive right now. I'm gonna pull from here, I'm gonna pull from another deck, and then we're gonna pull from the one that I made to see if we could get a little bit deeper into whatever the message is, okay? All right, Spirit, what's the collective need to receive right now? a time for healing we have you and your loved ones are safe and take time to breathe out all right bottom of the deck balance spirituality and practicality okay so whatever's going on spirit wants you to know that Right now, they want you to focus more on spirituality, okay? I feel like you're focusing on the practical things, you know, like you, you want lo and your loved ones being safe. Maybe you're focusing on, uh, you know, on the finances. Uh, maybe you're overworking yourself too much. And spirit wants you to take some time out, okay, to balance your spirituality as well, okay? It's all about balance, okay? You, you can't just be, I mean, you can, but it's better if you try to have balance, okay? Um... This Pisces energy, I'm getting that like you could be a Pisces. You could be uh, a water sign. You could be very intuitive. And Spirit is telling you, it's time you're not right now to balance uh, your life out, okay? Get more into your spirituality, okay? Take time to breathe out, which is like, you know, basically like a uh, usa, you know, like meditation. Take time, you know, alone. Spend time alone in isolation, working on yourself so that you could get these downloads, okay? And also, at the same time, you're going to be healing, all right? Maybe you could spend time like in nature, Spending time in nature, look at that, the nature I'm getting here. <laughs> Spending time in nature is absolutely going to um, <clears throat> help you heal. And it's going to also allow you to, to you know, to, to get the downloads that Spirit wants you to receive, okay? Uh, this could be at the beach, at the park, uh, anywhere. Just spend time outside, okay? Not outside like on the block. <laughs> spend outside like, you know, in nature, in the park, hiking, uh, at the beach, um, what's another one? You know, like have a picnic. I know it's kind of cold, especially like, you know, if you're like in uh, New York or something, it's kind of cold right now, but you know, just wherever you can find, you know, time to yourself, just, just, you know, give into that moment. Okay. And give into spending time alone. All right. Surrender outdated beliefs about yourself. Let go of limiting ideas about yourself that originate from the past then you can own your power and soar in your life. And again, I'm getting the whole nature vibe, okay? So maybe you're thinking, uh, you know, about yourself, thinking that you can't do something, thinking that you are um, not able to, to make something happen. Uh, maybe you're having doubts, you're having fears about, you know, something that's going on with you. But Spirit is telling you, whatever you put your mind to, you can. You can make it happen for you, all right? I feel like they just... Um, they want you to release these thoughts, you know, because this could be a blockage. This could end up, you know, holding you back. Okay, we have complete healing again. So the same energy with healing. Open fully to the loving, compassionate forces of the universe that support your physical, emotional, and spiritual healing. Okay, so there is some healing that needs to be done. We always have something to, to heal, okay? So so it just wants you to work on that, all right? Um, and that could be something that they want you to heal, you know, having these doubts, having, you know, this uh, energy of not feeling like you're enough. Okay, and look, this is also what I got here. I saw this card when I picked it up. You are enough, okay? You could be a Virgo as well. But if not, Spirit is just letting you know you are enough. And they want you to really uh, embrace that energy, okay? That's why they're telling you here to complete, uh, you know, your healing, you know? Uh, release release those thoughts. And that's, that's why they're telling you to take some time, you know, for yourself right now. You know, um, think about, you know... Feel the thoughts, right? Feel it. Like, really get in it and then transmute it into something else. Get rid of it. That's it. All right? That's what they want you to do. They're not telling you, you know, don't don't think about these things. You know, it's, it's okay to think about them. It's okay to recognize these thoughts. But then you must not sit in these thoughts for too long, okay? You got to you gotta transmute it. Turn it into something positive and uh, let it go. All right? That could cause blockages in your life. That could cause delays in your life, you know? Surrender to effortlessness. This is something you hear. Stop pushing so hard. The art of living means going with the flow instead of trying to force the river. 
all right? And uh, we have surrender the, ha the habit of people pleasing at the bottom of the deck. Speak your needs and be true to yourself. Focus on your own happiness instead of always trying to make everyone else happy, okay? So I, I feel like this is, again, connecting uh, maybe to these loved ones, all right? Or maybe these friends, family members, um... And Spirit is sending you again, you know, like they're safe, they're good, you have nothing to worry about, stop worrying about um, pleasing to everybody else and focus more on you. That's what they're telling you, you know, you have to find balance within yourself, you need to take, to take time away from these people, you know, and focus on you, all right? You need to heal, you need to spend this time in meditation, you need to get these downloads, okay? And we have surrender to prayer, which is basically talking about what, you know, what they just said. They want you to spend time in meditation, uh, connecting with your spirit guides. Okay. So it says, give yourself completely over to prayer. When you pray from your heart, you will be heard through the universe and answers and support will arrive. So when you are spending this time alone, you know, connect with your guides, pray to them or, or just talk to them in your head. You know, like you don't have to be like be in an actual prayer position or anything like that. All right. They want you to just tap in and that's why they're trying to get you alone. They're trying to get you, you know, to spend this time in, in meditation alone, away from the people, you know, that are around you. They're letting you know that you, your family, your friends, whatever, the, whoever you worry about, they're good. You know, you know, like right now you just need to focus on you. All right. All right, spirit. So, uh, let's pull from here and let's see what else the collective needs to receive. This one came out psycho, but I didn't really get to shuffle it, so I don't know. Maybe somebody's a psycho or some shit. And spirit is telling you to be careful. All right. So, what does the collective need to receive? Spine through tarot. Dirty poom poom. <laughs> oh boy. And the universe is ready to um to deliver you your blessings. Alright, North Node is telling me that you know whatever you're you're doing, this is your destiny. Alright. Um somebody's spying through tarot. Somebody's looking, maybe they're looking at your destiny. They're trying to see. We have here watch out for the signs. Okay, this could be a sign. Um, but whoever you're dealing with, they could be married and dirty. D or P is basically saying that um this person um you know maybe they got an STD or something and you, and and I, and I didn't even know this was gonna go this way but somebody needs to receive this message okay so spirit wants you this could be the people that you're that you know that maybe you're trying to please and you know spirit is saying to focus on yourself okay don't focus on this this person here with the dirty poom poom or the dirty D you know. Um, they could be married or maybe you're married to this person and they out here doing too much but somebody's smiling through tarot. I feel like they're checking up on you, keeping tabs on you. They're waiting for something. We have two to four weeks in the bottom of the deck. What are they waiting for? They're in a mental prison. We have psychic. You could be a psychic. This person that's spying through tarot could be a psychic. But they're waiting for something to happen, and they're in a mental prison about it. Like, they're just stuck on it. Maybe they're waiting. Let's see. Let's just see what they're waiting for. Stop drinking so much. And today, let go of people who are committed to misunderstanding you for your mental health, okay? Mental prison, mental health. Maybe you're the one who's in your in your mind. Uh, but Spirit wants you to release these people that don't understand you, you know, that they keep on misunderstanding you. They, they, they're not on your vibration. Maybe they're drinking too much. Um, let's see. We do have here acceptance. So maybe they want you to accept it for what it is and keep it pushing. Yeah, the balance, like, you need to balance out your life, you need to balance, um, and yeah, acceptance, I just saw acceptance, so accept what it is and balance your life out, okay, so they let go, again, the same card, that people that are misunderstanding you, all right, let's pull from here, so there is somebody that you need to release, and Spirit wants you to just accept it for what it is, that psycho card probably was not a mistake falling out, like, this person probably is a freaking psycho, you know, they're watching you. They're freaking tapping into your, your energy with, with the tarot, uh, trying to see what's going on in your life. With the North Node, they're probably seeing, you know, what your destiny is. You know, they're checking your chart or whatever the situation is. Look, and stay away from people that drain you. They probably drain you. That's what people say. Uh, Spirit is saying, stop trying to people please these people. You know, like, stop trying to be worried about everybody else. Yeah, look, trickery. This person um, and frustration. I feel like they're probably trying to do some type of trickery. They're probably trying to do something to throw you off from your north node. Okay. We have lovers and friends. Can't grow there. Okay. So it could be um, a friend who's not really um, 
your friend. It could be a lover who's not really, um, you know, for your highest good. We did see Psycho again. Um, and whoever it is, this, these people, you know, I feel like they're, they're trying to maybe send tricks your way, like, you know, like uh, maybe spell work or they're lying to you or um, whatever the situation is, like with this balance card, I feel like you need to balance out your life and like get them out of your life, okay? Like balance, but like get them out, you understand? They don't belong in your life anymore, whoever these people are. It's too many cards. Yeah, look, the card that fell out is childish. So this person is uh, childish. And you have, I feel like you have a fresh start. All right, we did see that uh, everybody's good on your end. You don't have nothing to worry about. Like, just focusing on yourself. Frenemies. Yeah, we saw lovers and friends. So this is a fake friend who, who's acting like they're your friend. Spirit is saying focus on your healing. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. That could be your sign or your person's sign. And something happening in six weeks. They're telling you here to remain optimistic. Um... Okay, so we see healing. You need to focus on your healing. Stand your ground, okay? You protected, all right? So Spirit is letting you know you got nothing to worry about. You are protected. If they are trying to send any negative energy your way, you good. You have nothing to worry about. You divinely guided and protected, all right? Okay, and they're scared. So they are trying to do something, start, probably trying to send something your way. Let's pull this other deck. Talk to me about these frenemies. Talk to me about the frenemies. Spirit coming through with the tea real quick. Right? We just we was getting like starting off all nice and now we getting we getting the tea. So never satisfied. This is somebody who's never satisfied. This is somebody who always has a freaking problem. Somebody who always wants more. Somebody who's very selfish. Enemies will be exposed. Yeah. So this is this is an enemy. We saw a friend of me. This person is not really, you know, they don't really have good intentions uh, towards you. Okay. We have mind games. This is it telling me that this person, um, you know, they're trying to manipulate you again with the trickery card? Okay. Um, again, they're trying to act like they're your friend or whatever the situation is, and they're really not your friend. They really don't have, um, they really don't have your your highest good in in mind. Okay, so this person, uh, they see you as very intimidating. They are intimidated by you, which is probably why they're trying to, you know, send you this uh, low vibrational energy your way. Again, with the trickery, I keep seeing like spell work. I keep seeing manipulation with the mind games as well. And, you know, you, they find you very intimidating. Okay, that's why they're doing this shit. But look at that. That's what I said. Like, I see spell work with trickery. It's not saying spell work. I haven't got the spell work card, but this is telling you, again, confirmation. Like, you know, they are trying to do something, and you are immune to these attacks. So you have nothing to worry about, okay? You are divinely guided and protected, just like how we saw in that other card that it was saying, okay? So you have nothing to worry about. Yeah, the competition. Again, frenemies. Like, you know, they're like low-key um, low competing with you, okay? Competition. You know, I feel like they're scared because they're realizing that you are protected, realizing that whatever they're trying to send you away is not working with the immune to attacks. And Spirit wants you to limit access, okay? They want you to release the situation. Don't engage with these people. Don't be friends with these people because these people are not really your friend, as you can see, okay? All right. So what else can we tap into? So yeah, this is the person with the dirty poom poom, all right? If it's a girl, she got some dirty pussy. If, she's, if it's a guy, you know, let's see what's going on with marriage. Talk to me about marriage.
release. Well, damn. So you need to release uh, something. Look, we got free will on the bottom of the deck. Yeah. If this person... All right. So maybe I'm talking to two different... Uh, or a, a few different situations. But I see two different stories now with the marriage. And then I see this energy here of a fake friend. So Spirit could be telling you, you know, again, this is a general reading. So I'm tapping into different situations. So some of y'all need to release a friend of me. Some of y'all have a, a, a marriage that y'all in that Spirit wants you to release. They're telling you to use your free will. You know, you don't have to stay in the situation. Okay, um, I feel like they're telling you to release it is because there's something going on here that is not for your highest good, and spirit wants you to know that. All right, let's see what else. Oh yeah, here we go, creeping. Like you have a marriage, you have you you marry with somebody. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be an actual marriage. It could be a relationship. I don't have a card here. I don't have any cards that I made that says relationship. Maybe I should make one now, <laughs> but, um, that could be that, you know, like you guys have something like a marriage. You has, you guys have a commitment to each other. You guys have uh, a relationship and, uh, spirit is telling you that this person is creeping. All right. And look what we got in the bottom of the deck. We have online. Okay. So this person could be creeping online. You know, they could be out here trying to do too much, trying to, uh, you know, holla at the, the, the IG models or, you know, just trying to creep, okay? And Spirit is giving you a heads up that you need to release the situation. They want you to use your free will and, 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 and get out of this, all right? If, they, if this card is coming out, they're trying to remind you that you don't have to stay in the situation if you don't want to. Anything else the collective needs to receive? And I feel like that's why we have here, you know, the balancing going on. Like, you have a lot of shit going on. Some of y'all have problems with these fake friends that you need to watch out for. There's over here, uh, you know, trying to calculate and, and trying to plot against you and, 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 and stalking you and checking up on you and, you know, doing readings about you. Like, crazy, obsessed, weird shit. And then some of y'all have this situation here. And it's like a lot right now. Spirit just wants you to spend some time alone so that you could connect with your spirit guides. So that you could... um. So that you could, um, you know, be able to like heal yourself. Okay. Maybe this already happened because we have the healing card here. Maybe this already happened. Maybe you already found out that this person was out here doing too much and you had to let them go. And now spirit is saying it's time for you to heal. It's time for you to spend time, you know, working on yourself. All right. So spirit wants you to know that you have a stalker. And I literally just said that with this, um, friend of me energy. Okay. They're obsessed with you. They're stalking you. They're trying to compete with you. Everything that you do, they want to, um, you know, try to one up you, or they want to try to do what you're doing and they can't, you know, because they don't realize that you're divinely guided and protected. Whatever, whatever you're doing is because, you know, spirit is guiding you to do these things. You know, like if you have like, let's say you have like an online platform, you know, like, uh, let's say you're, um, let's say you're doing tarot all right let's say you're doing something online and this friend of yours this fake friend they're watching your fucking every move they're getting tarot readings done or they're doing tarot readings if they are you know the psychic person maybe they're the ones doing the tarot readings checking up on you trying to see what's next what's coming up in your life so they could try to be fast that's ahead of you and it ain't gonna fucking work all right but um they're stalking you you know we do have competition and look inspire that's exactly what's going on you inspire this hating ass hoe or hating ass nigga to, to, you know, like that's, that's really what's going on here. Like that's the, the, the reality of it, that you're inspiring this person, you know, they, they're not going to admit it. They're not going to tell you, you know, like, I love what you're doing, you know, kudos to you, you know, they're not going to, they're not going to tell you that, but instead they're just going to keep on stalking you low key, you know, not giving you your props, but they, not that you need their props, but it's like, you know, like it's just a hater, hey, hater energy here. And they're going to keep on trying to, you know, compete with you. They're going to keep on trying to one up you and try to do everything that you do and, you know, try to ba basically, um, do it better than you. We have spend wisely. We have this, oh shit, that, that card is on so fly right out but basically that um that ca this card in the reverse is saying that this person is not spending wisely all right they're not spending wisely maybe they're trying you know they're spending all their money on these tarot readings you know um to to to, to tap into your shit or they're spending all their money again trying to keep up with you and it's not working. Like, let's say, um, I'm just going to say tarot because, you know, I'm in the in, in that energy. Uh, so let's say, you know, let's say I had a friend that she wants to, um, what I do, I'll, I'll, let's get into the tea. There is somebody that I know that's like that. You know, like this bitch is stalking me. She's doing tarot readings on me and shit like that. So with um, spend wisely, 
This is telling me that, you know, they're just, they're trying to keep up and they can't, you know, they're going crazy. They're going, they're going broke trying to keep up. All right. They could also be going broke trying to, with the trickery, maybe they're trying to send shit your way. You know, they're going broke doing that. Bro, what did I just say? Bum. They're going broke trying to keep up. Not understanding that whatever you're doing is divinely guided and you can't fucking keep up with that. Yeah, look, watch your back. Exactly what I said. There is people like that, fucking weirdos, bro, that they just want to, they just want to, you know, keep cl uh, clocking you and trying to, you know, be like you and shit like that. And it's not going to work. We have ascending. So Spirit is letting you know you are ascending, you are leveling up, and they're going to continue to go broke. They're going to continue to be on this bum energy. They're going to continue to watch you. They're going to continue to try to compete with you. They're going to continue, you know, to try to live, um, to try to live your life and it's not going to work, Okay. So they just want you to watch your back and just be, you know, be on point with it. We have something happening on Christmas, okay? So watch your back around this time. We already in that time. We are, well, like two weeks away from, from Christmas. We have here toxic at the bottom of the deck. So there could be something, uh, you know, toxic, look, revelation. All right. I feel like something's going on with this energy here where uh, spirit is sending you to watch your back. They're telling you, you know, stay woke because something could be happening on Christmas. Okay. Fresh start. Okay. Maybe they could be trying to block your your fresh start, or maybe uh, on Christmas, you will be having this fresh start, you know? Um, but we do have watch your back, and then we got Christmas. So something's gonna pop off on Christmas. Spirit just wants you to be careful. Yeah, absolutely be careful. We got police here, all right? We got toxic police and revelation, okay? So there's gonna be something going on, some some type of revelation, finding something out about something. Maybe you're gonna find out something that, that is gonna involve the police, and maybe with these people, Look, we have stolen. Like there definitely is something popping off with the with the popo around Christmas time. So spirit is just saying, be careful. All right, maybe these people are here trying to steal and shit. Um, you know, to get Christmas gifts. I don't fucking know what the situation is, but watch your back. Stay woke. All right. All right. So let's see what else. I'm gonna pull from one more deck. All right, Spirit, uh, anything the collective needs, needs to receive so we can close this out. And there is people that's definitely out here, you know, lurking, even when you think they're not lurking. Look, that doorbell right there is confirmation. Open the door! I don't know. <laughs> I don't know who it is. Just open it. <laughs> I'm recording. So that could be, you know, confirmation too. Like spirit is like ding dong. Like, yeah, they out here, you know, they lurking. They trying to do what you do. All right. So just be, you know, be on point with it. You know, I got, I got a little friend of me on deck too. You know, she think I don't peep what she doing. I peep it. I peep how she trying to be, you know, I'm trying to be like one step ahead. And it's like, bro, every time you try to take one step ahead or try to be ahead than me, you just end up going backwards. Like, I see what you're doing, sis. I see you. All right. Don't think I don't. I see what you're doing. And I see what you're doing with them through them tarot readings. I know exactly what you're doing, all right? And the only reason I'm even addressing this is because you must think that I don't know what you're doing. So I'm letting you know I know what you're doing. I know what you're I know you're watching. All right. I know what you're trying to send my way. And I see you trying to swagger jack and trying to copycat my energy, trying to copycat my my vibes, okay? And and, and it's a very miserable attempt at trying, okay? You like, you just you you just don't got it, bro. Hang it up. And if this is your energy I'm tapping into, <laughs> good luck. Surrender to what is, go with the flow. So spirit is telling you to go with the flow. All right. They want you to just uh, you know, let let them handle it. All right. Bottom of the deck we got very soon. So spirit is telling you basically, look, somebody's gonna get a fucking rude awakening. All right. Either uh, this lover or this fake ass friend, they're gonna get uh, a rude aw awakening because you are meant to shine. Not them, you. And Spirit is going to show them something. They're going to show them something. All right? I feel like they're already showing them with all this, you know, bum energy here. Like, they're not really seeing it. They're not really getting it. But um, 
they're going to get it. They're going to have a rude awakening. All right. So don't worry about these frenemies. Don't worry about these hoes. Don't worry about these niggas out here doing too much. Just focus on you. Spirit wants you to really just focus on you. All right. Focus on balancing your spirituality. Let me make sure y'all can see that. Your spirituality and practicality. All right. Like just focus on you and know that you are good enough and that you are, like it says here, you are meant to shine. All right. So keep doing what you're doing. Look, a fiery fly, uh, climax approaches and we see something approaching uh, very soon and spirit wants you to release negative negativity, right? And it's time to take action. So they want you to let these people go. Let go of these friends, these fake ass friends and these, uh, you know, these trash ass lovers that's not really, that's not really on, you know, on, on, on some good shit, you know, on, on, on some, on the same type of, type of time that you on, all right? They're telling you, look at the bigger picture, all right? You have a lot more coming in for you. You ain't losing shit. You're releasing it because you're leveling up. Just like how we saw here, ascending, wherever it is, right here. You are ascending. You are leveling up. And it's time to let go of these people that do not serve you, all right? And this is how we're going to close out the reading. Your enemies are going to watch you be blessed. They're already watching you be blessed. They're going to continue to watch you be blessed. And they're going to be sick dick. All right? No pun intended with the sick dick here. So the dirty dick and the dirty pee. Like, you know, these haters. All right? And yeah, you are in the public eye. All right? People seeing you. They're watching you. They want to do what you do. And it's really telling you that karma is whooping that ass right now. So you have nothing to worry about. All right? It's whooping that ass. You know, it's hitting them in the pockets. It's hitting them in, in, in their private parts. <laughs> and look, plotting behind your back. Yeah. We know this already. That's what Spirit is telling you to stay... Stay woke. All right? So that was your reading. Hope I was able to uh, give clarity to whoever needed to receive it. Uh, if you feel like this reading resonates, then please like, comment, share, subscribe. If you would like to book a full reading, we could definitely do that. This is just channel messages. Um, for the full reading, just send me a DM if you are on Instagram. And if you are on YouTube, then you already know what to do. Check out the description and send me an email. All right? Take care.